this. Hi guys, it's Jason here on a Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have had a great Thanksgiving. And if you're shopping, hopefully you're being safe and whatnot. It's Friday. It's um, Civil War Day, and it's the Civil War preview. It's Oregon, Oregon State. Um, they're gonna kick off here in about. Um, it's about 10 o'clock right now. It's about four hours away, 1 p.m. on Fox Plus One. Four o'clock if you're on the East Coast. Um, the 704 Oregon Dutch travel about 30 miles north, 30 to 40 miles north to Corvallis to play the Oregon State Beavers at Reese Stadium, Oregon State 2 and 9. Uh, you, you're talking about a program in the last year, year to 14 months when Gay Anderson decided to quit. I'm, I'm gonna just say right now, he decided to quit. You could say it was a mutual walkway or whatnot. He quit. He quit on the Beavers. Let's just say it plain as that. And it's, it's been a hard time for the Beavers. Um, they, they've they been going downhill ever since. Um, they, they had a 4-8 record. They, they beat the Dutch two years ago in the Reese's Stadium. And um, last season didn't pan out. They went winless in the conference. Um, they, they got one victory in the conference this year again. This year against Colorado, it was a heck of a comeback by the Beavers in Boulder. Um, the the way I look at it, look at this game, Oregon should run away with it. But you have the problems on the road for Oregon. It's a little bit suspect for Duck fans right now. Um, How is Oregon going to respond on the road? Um, Luckily for Oregon, they're not going to take a flight over there. It's a bus ride to Covalis. So maybe that's going to be the difference. Um, I believe Oregon's going to take care of business when big. Um, and we're going to talk about this. Um, 1929 was the first time um, this rivalry got caught at the Civil War. Uh, 14 wins by Rich Woods is the most by a duck coach, uh, Rich Woods. Um, for Oregon fans that don't know who Rich Woods is, um, he was the coach that led Oregon to the 94 Wars Bowl. Um, the Wars Bowl that Oregon got beat by um, um, Ke uh, Kenny Cardins, um, a future NFL pro, and Penn State and Joe Paterno that day. Um, Oregon that day in 94 had Danny O'Neill as quarterback and had a defense guard nicknamed the Mean Green. Uh, mean Green or Gan Green? I think it's, it was called the Mean Green. A um, little back story on this rivalry. They actually do play for a trophy. The trophy is called the Platypus Trophy. If you put a duck and a um, beaver together, you get a platypus. Um, looking at this game by the numbers, um, Oregon averages 38.5 points per game. Um, the beavers average about 27 points per game. Oregon's giving up about 28 points. That's the beavers 44. Um, Oregon State's defense. Um, I wouldn't say it was as, ad, as bad as the 26 Oregon defense, one of the worst defense that an Oregon fan has ever seen. Um, and it, it was pretty bad. It was the worst in the Power Five. Um, the Oregon State defense is pretty much as bad as that. Um, you look at it. The Beavers defense is giving up 539 yards per game compared to Oregon's 393. Um, 
the the Beavers are giving up 271 rushing per game um, compared to 267 um, passing. Um, so let's let's talk about the individual numbers. Um, Justin over 2,800 yards. Um, I expect after this game, he'll be in that 3,000 yards mark. 27 touchdowns, 8 INTs. Um, Jake Luton has split some time. Um, last year, Jake Luton had a bad neck injury. I want to say against Washington State in the um, in the Pullman last year. Um, He's had a decent season, eight touchdowns, two INTs. Like I said earlier, led Oregon State to the comeback um, against Colorado. CJ Vodal, 788 yards, six touchdowns. I, I believe CJ Vodal will have a great Oregon career. Um, he's shown flashes, but with this Oregon backfield, it's really a three-headed monster. You look at CJ Vardell, you look at Tony Butch, James the Cena, uh, playing his last Civil War, and Travis Dye. Travis, um, Travis Dye is Troy Dye's brother. Uh, Troy Dye, in my opinion, is the best linebacker in the Big 12. Um, and I don't think you could argue that. Um, so... But on the other side, it's Jamel Jefferson, 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. He's a true freshman. Um, but the last six games, he's been held on the 135. Um, since the um, breakout game that he had against ASU, 234 yards, 254 yards. Um, my handwriting was pretty bad, um, but for Oregon State, you gotta slow down the best wide receiver in the conference, Delton Mitchell. Uh, 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns. He's been Justin Herbert's um, main target um, throughout the season. You got Johnny Johnson. I could catch a ball or two. You got Jordan Red. When it's not dropping the balls, he's catching them. Uh, and why not? Can Herbert be. Um, can Herbert spread the love on it um, this day after Thanksgiving? Like I said, I, I think it's going to be an Oregon blowout. Uh, no offense to the Beavers, but I don't think the Beavers are going to slow us down. Um, I think the only thing that's going to slow down the be the Ducks is the Ducks um, by mistakes by Oregon. Um, and the reason that I said that is, yeah, Oregon did struggle against Arizona State in the second half last week against Arizona State, but a lot of mistakes that Oregon did was um, not what Arizona State was doing, but what Oregon was doing and whatnot. So, um, Oregon could clean up the second half blenders they had a week ago. This is going to be a really good game if you're a duck fan. Um, let's talk about the line real quick. It opened at Oregon minus 14 and a half. Um, Right now, the ESPN app says Oregon's favored by 18. Um, you look at another, I look at another betting um, app I got on my phone, and that says Oregon's favored by 17 and a half. Um, I think Oregon covers 17 and a half. It's, it's a really big number, especially in a rivalry game. No Oregon blew them out last year, 69. To seven, sixty-nine to ten, whatever it was, but seventeen and a half in a rivalry game—that's a lot for me to um, swallow the points. Um, I, I think the Beavers do cover. Um, 
but it's not going to be much. I, I think it's going to be a 16 point win. Um, I think Oregon does win at 42-21. So, with a 42-21, I, I think Oregon does cover it. Um, so, let's talk about these coaches. Jonathan Smith, um, if you're not aware by now, he was a walk-on at Kodak for the Beavers, um, led the Beavers to a couple of Civil War games. One coming to mind is the uh, 2000 Civil War game um, in um, Covadis where the Beavers won by a couple of scores. <coughs> and Joy Hanson threw for five INTs against the Beavers and won a fumble. Um, as the Beavers that year went onto this Fiesta Bowl and dominated the um, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. That was a blowout from the Gecko. Um, that year, Oregon went on it to the heart of their ball. Which Oregon can go to if they get a victory. Um, that's one of the balls that's been a talk about of Oregon gets the victory. Uh, Mark Cristobal coaching it in his first Civil War game. Um, I, I think la last year we had two coaches coaching in the first Civil War game. And it really tired. Um, and uh, the the coach that filled in to um, Gay Anderson and his, his name is um, Summon Hall, um, Dion Hall. I want to say, and and I apologize to Beaver fans. Um, that interim head of coach is his name is um, his name is just losing my mind. Um, so I apologize for not remembering him, but um, hopefully this is a civil war that's of many of Smith versus Cristobal um, going up. Um, my family moved here um, in '99, so watching the Civil War, you you have have a lot of Civil Wars between Whitey and Bloody. It was Whitey versus Cutty for a couple of years, uh, Whitey versus Halford, um before Mike Whitey moved on to Nebraska. Um, so um, these two schools has had some. Um, long-term coaches, but um, I, I would have said both schools are in the rebuilding, um, rebuilding phase. Um, the, the two the type of rebuilds, I, I think uh, rebuilding Oregon takes a lot quicker than rebuilding that, um, Oregon State um, because Oregon State's fall has been further than Oregon's fall. Um, Yes, granted, a couple of years ago, Oregon was 4 and 8, but now you're on the verge of being an 8 and 14, and that's that's very good. Um, I believe Cristobal has Oregon on the right track, um, and for years, many years to come. So, once again, that's the Civil War preview. Oregon, Oregon State in a couple hours. One o'clock on a Fox Sports One. Once again, my name's been Jason. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend. Um, if you a Beaver or Duck fan, just have a fantastic weekend. Um, remember, everybody, the rivalry is on the field, not on in the stands. I I read so many um reports of other rivalry fans just. Um, not being nice to each other, it's a game at the end of the day. Yes, we all talk to be fans and whatnot. I know I do. Um, so once again, my name's been Jason. Have a great day. And like always, guys, go Ducks.